Hey y'all, I'm back here with another video. So, I'm here with Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, season 10, episode 7, I believe. Alright, cool. So, we pretty much start off, you know, with the girls of Rona Santa Barbara. And, um, you know, so, Dorit comes over to Kyle's house. And Kyle is, oh my gosh, I guess, you know, still mad about the whole thing, about everybody talking about her and going to the couples therapy I think what bothers Kyle now that I'm listening to her is the fact that people are calling it couples therapy versus I don't know anxiety therapy like I don't I don't really know but like everybody keeps saying like Dorit said for the umpteenth time Kyle I don't think that anybody well I'm not gonna lie it low-key feels like Dorit does have a problem a little bit with how close that they are but I think everybody else is pretty much saying Kyle you are closer to Teddy. It is okay. You keep saying, no, we didn't do this. No, we didn't do that. When you did, and not only did you, but you are closer to her. And I'm going to get to that in a second. And I don't understand. Like like the reset, I don't understand why that's so hard to say and why it bothers her so much. Like, who gives a fuck? If that's your friend, that's your friend. If y'all want to there together, you want to there together. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Okay. Alrighty. So... Then we get to Garcelle. So, uh, I guess, you know, Garcelle is booked and busy pretty much. Garcelle is on the phone talking to her business manager, I mean, her partner. And, you know, she's talking about how she has to go to, I think, Nashville to go to the show. And then she got to come back. And she's going to go to Atlanta. Then she's coming to America, too. And she has some other stuff going on. So, I'm like, yes, Garcelle, get the money. So, she goes to the little bus stop, see her kids, send them off about their way. Then we switch over to Denise. We see Denise. I think she's on the bold and beautiful, whatever that damn soap opera is. And, you know, she's acting, whatever. We see her at work. She tells us a little bit about that. Okay. Forget it. So, um, pretty much all of the girls end up getting into Santa Barbara. The house is really nice. Um, the view was really nice. Really cute. At first, when they said twenty five hundred a night, I'm like twenty five hundred a night. But then I'm like, oh, this, that ain't nothing to y'all bitches. But anyway, um, so pretty much all of the girls, they, cause Denise Garcelle couldn't come, but Denise was coming later because she was working. So they write a note for you know Denise telling them where they're going. So they go out to I don't know somewhere to go get some wine, and they're talking, and pretty much the whole thing about <clears throat> Denise and the kids come up again. Now here's the thing. I want this to be. The last episode, although I know it's not going to be because it's clearly going to be right up again next episode. Are we really about to stay on this mute point this entire season? Is, uh, really, is this the mute point that we're going to stay on? And I feel like it's from both sides. It's from Denise's side and it's from the girl's side. Y'all both keeping up this dead ass, dumb ass point. Because if that's the case, I will really stop watching. It's, that, it's the same reason I stopped watching that season um um that lisa vanderpump and dorit got into it over the damn dog and y'all wanted to fight the whole season all about i'm not doing that this season but anyway they're pretty much talking about the whole thing again about oh bringing up the three sons in front of the kids and this is that and that again i'm gonna say what i said before which is do i think that denise was putting 20 on 10 when it came to that whole situation absolutely and even more throughout this episode she definitely put 20 on 10 on the whole situation however However, I will also say that the girls are putting 2110 too. Put it like this, they the girls feel like, oh, that they're being judged by Denise for that situation. I mean, other than it being, whatever, whatever, whatever. I, I'm just tired of hearing about it. So anyway, Erica says, you know, right before Denise come in, comes in, which is some true shit. She was like, man, she's worried about whether or not the girls heard it. Like, you need to be, they probably already did it. And that's a fact. I got here in my notes randomly that. When I was in, when I was a freshman in high school, like, I remember somebody telling me about how they had a whole orgy the year before them and three other people. So, yes, I'm pretty sure if they ain't doing it. And then on top of that, y'all live in Beverly Hills, y'all live, like, in California and L.A. And you think they're going to follow three times, Denise? Yeah, all right. So, anyway, Denise comes in. And you know how when you can come in and you can tell that people was talking about you? I feel like that's why Denise came in the way that she did. Kyle tried to make it seem like, oh, she's being boring because the, this is how they tried to frame it on the show. Denise said something to the fact of like, oh, like, you know, like, are we going to get up out of here because you guys are kind of rambunctious? And Kyle was like, oh, well, look at Denise being boring. I don't think that's what it was. I think 
Denise came in and all of a sudden everybody gets quiet. When you come into a situation and everybody gets quiet, clearly y'all was all talking about me. So it's that awkward energy. And y'all was being awkward as hell too. Until um, I think um, Lisa Renner called Garcelle or Garcelle called Lisa Renner, whatever the hell would happen. So they end up leaving and um, they get to dinner, everybody's at dinner. So um, I don't know how, but I think somebody asked, um, they re-asked Denise like about, you know, like what was like her favorite role or something like that that she's done. And they get to talking about, you know, the different films she done and little sex scenes and stuff like that that she did. So Lisa Rinna asked Denise, like how did she feel about like the three-way that she did? Like how was it going the three-way? Now I was doing my homework, so I wasn't really paying attention to what was said when she when the when the commercial first came back but i do know that it pretty much led into back into the whole conversation again about the whole threesome thing and oh my gosh i'm just okay now this is the thing i was saying in this part denise she was putting 2110 because you you made a lot of good points but what but you over exaggerated when you said the only reason i'm bringing up bringing it up is because my daughter said something to me about it and when erica said to you well what did your daughter say you said Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't want to talk about it anymore. And they did that flashback. Denise, see, this is the shit I think I'm going right here. Your daughter said that it was fine and she thought that it was funny. Now, you're sitting there saying that it's fine, it's cool, but like everybody said, clearly it still bothers you. I don't really understand why. And I will say this. Denise brought up the point that I did last video, which is when the girl was like, oh, well, we've talked about your husband's penis and stuff like that. Like she said, that was amongst us. Versus me being right next to my kids. Those are two separate things. Now granted, you are a celebrity, so you are going to be on TV and this, this, that, and third. But I'm going to be real. Like, let's take it Let's take it from her, like, not being on TV. It is completely different if me and my friends are sitting here talking about all types of sex and positions and this, that, and the third when it's just us. Versus if it's us and then some kids around us. Those are two completely different things. The only reason why y'all can say that and the reason why what y'all saying makes sense is because of the fact that she's on TV. That fact that she's a celebrity. Um, Lisa Brenda brought up to her, um, you know, do you not think that your kids, you know, like, have you talked to your kids about, you know, like the scenes you've done and if they've seen them? And Denise stands 10 no toes down. Oh, no, they've never seen them. They, they've never seen it. And Lisa Brenda said, they probably did. Now, I think it's 50-50. Because on one hand, like Denise said, she was like, I don't know if I, they would want to see their mom like that. I'm going to be honest. Me personally, I wouldn't watch anything like that because like like Denise said, I personally don't want to see my mom in that light at all. I'm good if I don't have to see it. But at the same time, the internet is the internet. Maybe they got cautious and, I mean, cautious, curious, and went to look. If they did, oh well, oh well. Um, then Lisa brings up something funny about how uh, her daughter's like red. A book about like she wrote about sex and how they showed the flashback that i'm talking about how they mama pretty much told them how to give good head and lisa said i sure did i'm like lisa you're a hot mess a mess so then okay kyle apologizes to denise you know for how she i guess blew up at her at the dinner and i will say this denise you should have just said it is what it is but i guess she felt the need you know to get her feelings out so whatever so denise pretty much um Oh, I'm sorry, that's when Denise starts to go in, sorry, about uh, the whole thing with the kids. Sorry about that. That's when Denise goes in about the whole kids thing. And, um, so, yeah, so it's just a whole back and forth between Denise and Kyle about what was said. And then, you know, Denise brings up the whole thing about the ice tower. And it's just a whole much and back and forth. But I will say this, Kyle did try to apologize um, I think Denise just Denise just wanted to get that off of her chest. So it was what it was. To me, that whole them going back and forth, that whole thing to me, it was like kind of pointless. Like I didn't really see like it was literally just a reiteration of the fight y'all had last time. All y'all was doing was sitting there summing up what y'all fought about last time, and I really didn't give a fuck. Okay. So then this is what I do want to point out is that so after that happens and everything's awkward, everybody says okay, fine, we're going to bed. So then Kyle goes up. Kyle goes upstairs and he's talking to Teddy. And, you know, she's whispering, she's like, oh, you know, do you think that Denise is fine? Because Denise ended the dinner saying, I don't want to talk about it no more. Like, the whole situation with the kids is done, it's over with. Now, I feel like what she said is done, whether or not you believed her about her being fine, you should have let it the fuck go. And I mean you, I mean everybody should have let it the hell go. It doesn't matter if she really meant it or not. It should have been let go. Because I'm so, I don't, 
I don't want to keep talking about this. I don't want to keep talking about this the whole season. I just don't. So, so anyway, Kyle's upstairs talking to Teddy about it. She's like, oh, do you think that Denise was okay, really? And Teddy's like, well, clearly not. And blah, 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 blah. And so then Kyle pretty much says, like, this is why, this is why I called him a whole bunch of stuff. I called him FB, fake bitches, because they pretty much all try to act like everything is okay when they're not. And then she said something like, oh, I'd rather just go ahead and sleep with Teddy anyway since that's how you want to make it. See, Kyle, that's what we're talking about right there. That's what we're talking about right there. You try to sit up there and make it seem like you're not as close to Teddy. Like you're not closer to Teddy than everybody else. But look at what you do. You go off with Teddy on the side. You key key. And you call the rest of them fake bitches. That's what you do. And my thing is, that's okay. But sit in it, Kyle. Sit in it. Sit in it. That's all I'm saying. Sit in it. And you can't sit up here and keep saying that everybody else is your friend. But then keep calling people fake bitches. Like... Kyle, you're the fake bitch if you really want to get down to it. Like, let's not go down that rabbit hole. What the fuck? So, then we get to brunch. And I guess everybody wants to hash it out again about, you know, what's going on with everybody. So, it's pretty much like, all right, if y'all got anything to say, get it off your chest now. So, Dorit pretty much calls out Kyle for saying at the dinner that she wasn't really, like, ever this friend. Because I think she said something like, oh, like, I don't even know why, like, she's taking your side because you're not even really that cool with her. And she was like, I'm not that cool with Erica. She said, no, y'all not that cool. Okay. The recall Kyle out about that. Cal tried to make excuses left and right. She said that she felt like she was being attacked. Never said sorry, but she said that she felt like that she was being attacked. Then Erica comes in and Erica said, okay, well, why is it then that you said to me about, you know, me not having any good friends? Like, I was only trying to be honest with you, and you turned around and you pretty much lashed out on me. You got upset because I said that you and Teddy were cool or super, super tight, and that became an issue for you. Again, what does Kyle say? Oh, well, I felt like at the time everybody was ganging up on me. Everybody was ganging up on me. Still didn't apologize. Like, that's all I realized through the whole thing. Even if you don't want to apologize to the read, fine, 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 fine. But you really could have sat there and apologized to Erica. And she sat there and explained to you eloquently why it is that she felt some type of way when she was in her right. And you still sat in your shit and said, oh, well, I did it because that was all coming from me. No, Kyle. Like Erica said, I was being, as a friend, I was being honest with you and you couldn't handle it so you broke down in tears that's what it was i see a lot of people saying oh well people would they was all giving up on her that to me i didn't look at it that way i looked at it like cow came with the smoke okay and then when people started to reply to her smoke she could not handle it and when people were being honest she could not handle it that's personally how i looked at the situation i didn't feel like everybody was trying to jump down on her throat and to be quite honest like it's been brought up multiple times a lot of times at these dinners, there is normally either one or two people that's in the hot seat. That's a lot of times how this goes. Reunion, dinners, that's normally just how the shit goes, right? So that whole thing, uh, that whole thing with Erica calling, because everything that Erica said was facts about Kyle. Everything that she said, and Kyle still didn't apologize for anything. She just sat there and heard shit. One more thing, oh, and then finally, Teddy calls out Dorit and says that um, Dorit be picking on her and every time, you know, that, I guess the last time they were together, Dorit said that when Kyle is with Teddy that she's boring and then Teddy gets all on her bag about, oh, you always got something to say about me and oh, you doing this and you need to let stuff go. Pretty much everything that Teddy was saying to Dorit was everything that Teddy does. That was the most confusing part about it. Teddy, everything that you said about Dorit, that's it. And like people keep saying on Twitter, which is facts, I don't understand why Teddy's on this show. Teddy does not bring anything to this show to me. Teddy is kind of like the Tinsley of this show, but even lower because she literally brings nothing. No shade. All she is at this point is Kyle's little lap dog, and that's all that's really going on. I don't understand why Teddy's on this show. You getting all bucking hype, you went over and absolutely nothing. Just, you should have sat there and ate your food with your baby. Girl, because nobody was scared or nobody cared about what you had to say, okay? Um, and finally, one last thing I wanted to bring up, but I, I should have brought it up earlier, I don't care. It's the fact that, that I feel like whenever the girls come for Denise, Kyle revels in that. Like, you know, 
pay attention to Kyle like in her confessionals after they're always done talking about Denise. Kyle literally revels in the when the girls go in on Denise. Like when it's her, of course, oh crying, crying, come on, gosh, you old guys over no moment. But when they do it to Denise, she doesn't hold that same energy of oh we're all coming down on her at one point. Sorry, one more point. Erica said at the table to Denise, oh well, we all feel like you're trying to judge us when it comes to the whole thing with the kids. And again, I don't want to talk about this no more, but like Denise said, it's fine, it's over, let it go. Whether or not she's lying or not, it doesn't matter. Let it go. L-I-G. L-I-G. Bring it. Like I said, Kyle revels a little bit too much in the whole thing with Denise. She, she revels in that too much. I don't know what specifically she has against me. I don't know if she feels like Denise is coming for like her quote-unquote crown on the show, but she revels in that too much. But y'all can in the comments just to me what y'all think about that.